Um, can you tell us a bit about uh, Nolan's life and mm -hmm. how he's been doing and yeah. and what are the, some of the, the other patients or some of the trialists? Yes. So, yeah, Nolan, uh, we call Nolan P1 for participant one, um, had his implantation surgery uh, just over a year ago. It was uh, February, I think, of 2024. And from the very first day uh, of turning on the device and calibrating it, he was able to move the cursor on the screen. I think even on the first, in the first 24 hours of, of recording, he shattered the world record for uh, speed and efficiency in moving a cursor using just his mind. And um, since then, he's, he's basically been able to use the device um, at his home. So he, he went home after the surgery. And one of the, one of the things that we've, we thought was very important and distinguished us from the research labs that have been working on this technology is that we always wanted this to be something that a person would be able to get a benefit from from, from day one.